Hey, and welcome to the podcast. Today we got uh, my cousin here. My cousin who uh, used to work for uh, Aldo Courier as a customer service rep, which is our mutual cousin's uh, courier company. So you don't work for Aldo anymore? Hey, how you doing? Look at you over there. How you doing, buddy? Now, you know what? I'm not working for Aldo anymore. I'm not working for the courier service. I got a new gig. I'm a, I'm a freelancing now. I'm a freelancing. I got my own uh, consulting and collection agency going on. Know what I mean? A collection agency? You mean like you uh, call people, follow up uh, with people when they, uh, they're late with their bills or something like that? Like that kind of agency? No, no, not like that. You know, I actually uh, go to their house and we uh, sit down and we talk. We talk about uh, why they're not paying their bills. You know, they got to pay their bills. And I try and uh, find a way to encourage them to pay their bills. You know, that, that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's interesting. So you got clients now. You got uh, businesses who hire you to follow up with people who are uh, delinquent on their uh, bill payments. No, no, not that kind of thing. It's not banks or utility companies or that kind of stuff. It's, uh, you know, bookies and loan sharks, you know, people from uh, the old hood that used to lend money out to people in need out of the kindness of their heart. You know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. Oh, oh my God. I see what you mean. Yeah, there were a lot of uh, those kind of guys in our old uh, neighborhood. No, but you know what? At the recessions here, right? And some people, they don't have too much money or they don't want to pay too much to service these loans they took out. So I got to go over there and I got to sit down and talk to them. And then we figure out uh, what we're going to do, how we're going to service these loans. You know, I give them a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of counseling, you know, and we uh, sometimes uh, they cry and we hug, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I mean, if uh, people don't have the cash to pay, I mean, uh, what are you going to do? You can't, uh, you know, squeeze blood from a stone, right? Well, you know, people got less money to spend. I understand, but you know, we got to discuss, you know, ways to, uh, there's always got to be a little wiggle room. You got to squeeze a little bit uh, out, you know, to pay off these loans. And we discuss that kind of stuff. And you know what? There's other ways to pay off a loan other than just money, right? Oh, man. Like what? You're, you're taking things like uh, cars and that kind of stuff? No, but you know what? If you took out a loan, you got to service that loan. I mean, uh, what are you going to do? I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, like a, uh, I'm like a mobile uh, pawn shop, right? I'll take whatever you got. Uh, jewelry. Look at this. One time I got uh, women's 24 karat gold women earrings, right? Another guy, he gave me his uh, Rolex uh, watch over here. I mean, uh, whatever, you know. Sometimes, uh, well, you got like uh, uh, food in the fridge. You got a couple steaks frozen in the freezer, a couple pizzas, whatever. You know, you got to, uh, I work for uh, Vinny the Squirrel. Remember Vinny the Squirrel from the east side? I work for him. Vinny has to see something out of this. He gave you money out of the goodness of his heart. And, uh, you know, uh one time, uh, I convinced a guy to sign over his uh, online stocks. Yeah, but I mean, uh, don't you feel bad about doing this, though? I mean, these uh, collecting uh, from these uh, poor bastards who uh, don't have any money left, and uh, it's kind of a shitty thing, no? Uh, but you know what? Uh, we got to eat. I got to eat. Vinny the Squirrel from the east side has to eat. I mean, uh, everybody has to see something out of this, right? And, uh, hey, I'm making more money doing this than I was with Aldo Courier. And this is a growth industry right now. I got beat. God, man. What would Arnona say about this kind of work, man? Hey. Keep our grandmother's name out of your fucking mouth. Jesus Christ, take it easy over there, man. I don't think she'd be pleased. Another fucking wise guy in the uh, neighborhood over here. So, you're all set up. You have uh, everything you need, and uh, you got uh, you got equipment and stuff for all this kind of work. 
Oh yeah, I'm prepared. I got everything. I got everything. Uh, you know, all the tools I need. Look at this. I got uh, this over here. This is over here is, uh, you know, an encouragement aid. See? And then in case you got to pay me with some uh, frozen food or whatever, prosciutto you got in the fridge or whatever, you know, I got, uh, I got my cooler over here. See? So we're we're good. We're good. We we're all uh, we're all set. I'm ready to rock. Oh man. Anyway. So this is your new career path. Uh, I wish you well. Well, take it easy with uh, these people out there. You know, I hope you don't get too many clients out there and uh <laughs> what can I tell you? And thank you very much, Cugino. Nice to see you again and uh oh, by the way, that 600 bucks I owe you, you're going to have to wait a few months, okay? I'm still putting that money together. We good? We cool?